welcome to my clubhouse. My name is Sally Colon. Something amazing is about to happen. I just want to know, would you accept this rose? Oh my God. <laughs> he is Hollywood royalty. It's not a story to be found anyway. What's going on? You want to go there? Yeah, because people <laughs> want to know. You have to move through the resistance right. to get to the future self. Am I crazy? <laughs> Tell my kids I love them. <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine. You took my breath away. $79,000. Woo, baby. <laughs> <laughs> that feeling you have, it spreads to everyone who sees it. Do you like this dress? Is it expanding at all? <laughs> People can change if you put the work in it. Should we make out? Just kidding. <laughs> hey. This is live? <laughs> oh, I had no idea. <laughs> to my clubhouse. My name is Sally Colon and we are back for season two, y'all. And I'm so excited. We have so many incredible guests coming up this season. And this season we're focused on mind, body, and soul, health and fitness, cooking. And I'm so excited for my guest today, which I'm going to bring him on in just a minute, but I just want to say happy women's international day and month. I celebrate all my fellow Latinas, all my fellow women, friends, my girlfriends, my sister, all my sisters. I love you guys all. And I celebrate you this month. I'm so excited for so many things. I just had a recent reset three months ago. I hit a wall. I don't know if you guys have hit a wall, but I hit a wall. I didn't know where I was going from there. I felt even my daughters, I have two teenage daughters. You guys know them, but I hit a wall and I thought to myself, where am I going next? What am I doing? I've been in entertainment for 30 years. I was just not interested in the stuff that I've been doing and I knew it was time to reset. So I'm doing something in the food space. I'm not talking about it yet but I am going to be doing something in the food space. Everybody knows I love to cook. I'm not a chef, but I do love to cook. I'm a mama. I cook dinner every night for my kids. I cooked when I was married. I love everything to do with food, which is no coincidence that my guest today is a chef and not just a chef, but he's been trained by the best Michelin trained chef, which if you don't know what that is, it's top, top restaurants. When they have the Michelin star, it's a very big deal. You want to eat at those restaurants. Actually, I was just in Chicago and ate at Jose Andres restaurant, which I know my, my guest today, will talk a little bit about that, but the food was spectacular. So anytime I can get to a great Michelin star restaurant, I am there. I'm so excited for the show. I'm so excited for the guests that are coming and it's just going to be super fun. And so make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is just YouTube slash at Sally cologne the number one it's the same thing with my instagram i want to say thank you to my sponsor y'all we have a sponsor fast fix in valencia so i'm going to be showing you some beautiful jewelry i actually have one of the rings on if you can see that that is probably a 10 to twelve thousand dollar ring i have this diamonds all around amethyst i have this beautiful necklace that's also all diamonds white gold absolutely gorgeous. So I just want to say thank you to Fast Fix and Valencia for being my sponsor. They're going to be here all season. We are looking for one more sponsor. So if you're interested, DM me. I'm only going to represent two companies this year because I want to give you my attention on the show and everything that I'm doing. I'm super excited for what's to come. And so coming up next is an incredible chef. Let me tell you a little bit about him. He is Michelin trained he was on a show called Below Deck Mediterranean, which was a uh, Captain Sandy, because there's a lot of series now. He had some drama with a girl named Natasha. We'll talk a little bit about that. And he also had a little bit of a breakdown, which doesn't happen very often on television, but I'm proud of him that he said, you know what? I feel bad today. I'm gonna break down and I don't care who's watching. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. And so coming up next, we have from this incredible show below deck Mediterranean. We have chef Dave white for now. We're going to be watching a trailer from my film, women like us to celebrate women's international month. I love you women. I celebrate you today. Check out this trailer. And when we come back, we'll have chef Dave white right here on my couch. We'll be right back. 
When I get to the end of my life, I not only want to have lived the length of it, I want to have lived the width of it as well. So we look back and say as women, what have we achieved? What have we achieved? Your basic abilities matter and can be a miracle in someone else's life. We have kids here, we have orphans in our midst, we have um, family we know, neighbors we know dying of AIDS. People coming from homelessness, straight from prison, prostitution, depression, suicidal attempts, victims of human trafficking. This is our reality. It's very easy for us to be driving on the freeway and seeing a car broken down and saying, well, the guy behind me is going to help them. You have to do something with what you are given. If everybody does a little bit, it becomes a lot. The message I would have for young girls is that, yes, you can. Where if they dig down deep and they reach past, and you peel back the skin and you look at the heart, they're going to realize they can use it to help change the world. Power comes in so many forms. truly is my legacy to make a difference for women in the world. I'm not going to wait for someone else to do it. I'm going to be that one that does it. Does your heart... All right, we are back. We are back. I am back on the couch, and I'm not alone now. I am actually with an incredible chef from I, I keep wanting to say top chef because there's so many chef, chef, top chef. But no, this is Below Deck Mediterranean and I am here with an incredible chef, one of the best of all of the series of Below Deck, Mr. Dave Chef, Dave White. <laughs> I have a million questions and I also have a speed round because we had some people that sent in some questions. So okay. let's just start with the drama. I mean, why not just start there? <laughs> so I've been watching, you know, I watched a full season and then because I knew you were coming on, I watched it again just to kind of, you know, acquaint myself with some of the things that were said and some of the drama. And yeah. so there was a girl named Natasha and Natasha and you were on another boat. You didn't know you were going to be on below the deck. Neither one of you guys knew. No, it was like the last five days before we actually started filming. We found out on the tw about 25th of August. Okay, we both so found out. We weren't going to say anything, but obviously, I mean, we had to tell someone, right? And we actually told the same person, the sous chef, and then he couldn't keep his mouth shut. So. He couldn't, <laughs> of course, you know, because that's juicy. Nobody could. That's some juicy tea. <laughs> yeah, I like, how could think, you expect him to keep it quiet? I still think the producers, when we were doing our last interviews, we had our, our name badge on of what boat we were working mm -hmm. on. So the producers, I'm pretty sure they knew what they was know. going on. Yeah. yeah, they were like, yes, we got some drama this year, yeah, you know? exactly. So five days before, so now you have to, where are you when you get the call? And then how far are you from Malta where then you have to be in five days? We were in Croatia at the time, on charter, uh, Russian family at the time. Um, and then I had two days. So I finished a charter on the 30th <sighs> of August. I flew to Hossegor. I had two restaurants in the southwest of France. Yes. I uh, left my business partner in charge, and thankfully he gave me the, the grace and okay. spirit to go ahead and go for it, because I knew it was COVID was happening at the mm -hmm. time, and I had a choice to make, you know, and I kind of knew that we were, we were losing money because um, we had a full team of staff and being a business in France, mm -hmm. you still have to pay your staff even though you're not bringing any money in, even though they're not working. That's the wow. way it works. So that's lost a lot. It was a tough time, yeah. Wow, so, okay, so now, Season starts, you guys bunk together, which hello, that, that you don't think that was gonna be a clue that there was something going on? Well, there was a whole plan behind it. She basically wanted to wait. This sounds ridiculous. A week. She wanted to wait pretty much a week. Right. Um, so it didn't look, so her family didn't kind of, she didn't disrespect her family or her friends and she didn't wanna have this title behind her or mm -hmm. whatnot. So that was the, that was the plan. Right, um, but wasn't there a point when you she came into the room and she said, do you want to do it? Screw. screw. Yeah. So obviously there's no longer a secret, I right? Because now it's on national TV. Absolutely. So do you feel like she played with your heart a little bit? Um, yeah, 100. I felt- I, I agree. I did, I did feel uh, manipulated and I was, it, myself, my focus just became that whole drama mm. and it really did like absorb me. But thankfully, I'm so passionate about cooking. I love cooking so much. You know, I feel like food saved my life. Right. Um, like I, that kind of kept me 
in focus. It kept you focused on what just, you're supposed just to. Just about. Because like, ju- they showed you a lot looking at her everywhere she went. They kept showing you on the camera, looking looking to where she went. And it you it seemed a little like psychotic. But yeah. but I know how things are edited. They only show that part to make you look that way. Yeah, I mean, in front of the galley, there's a huge mirror on the gangway where everyone walks past it. So right. if someone, <laughs> even if you believe in ghosts, right, you feel your spirit presence, you look up. It's the same thing. If you see something in the corner of your eye, you look up. Right. So that's obviously not what happened. Right, that's exactly. just the way it's edited. Like, I know, and it kind of it kind of made me mad because I was like, come on, you guys, give the guy a break. I mean, he's going, he's suffering right now, you yeah. know? And so then there's the question that I know you've been asked a lot, but I just watched an interview with her denying that anything happened in the bathroom. No, it's, it did happen. So it's apps. 100% happened, and I've said it before, the funny thing about it was I actually walked into the shower fully clothed. I don't know why mm. I did it, and this is why I remember, and there's a scene, she goes and gets me new clothes from the wardrobe, and she brings me back in a short sleeve top, and I walked in with a long sleeve top, and it did happen. There's so no that, reason why I would lie about right. it. Right, like, so Natasha, come on man, just, Say you did it. It's all good, <laughs> you yeah. know? So if, if you guys don't have any idea what we're talking about, Below Deck Mediterranean, it was Sandy, Captain Sandy, who I love. I love her. She's, love so, her. she's so supportive. I admire her. She, I look up she's to her. She's smart, too. She's super smart, and she gives people second chances, you know? Yeah, and, I saw that she, she gave you one. She really sees the best in people, and... I, I admire her so much. Yeah. Listen, Sandy ain't no dummy. She knows you were one of the best chefs she's ever had. She's not going to let you go. Period. <laughs> Unless you did something that was like a crime, criminal, which you yeah. didn't, right? It was just about love for you. I was, so, I mean, I was, the, the things I did weren't, I shouldn't have done it, you know, I was out of order. So there's no, there's no reasons there. Um, for, for example, yeah, I just shouldn't have done it. I was even though how intoxicated I was. Well, let's um, talk about that. So that was one of my questions. <laughs> so do you have regrets of drunk texting? Yeah. Never yeah, again. One, never again. Never again. Okay. Yeah. No, I was, I, yeah, I drank a lot. Um, I was super emotional. I was upset and I wanted a release. She wouldn't talk to me. So I just got so frustrated. Yeah. Again, it's not an excuse. You shouldn't talk to anyone like that, right. especially not women. I respect women a lot. Yeah. Um, and I, I should never have done it. Yeah. yeah. But it's done. And I, I, ha- I want to give you props because I'm, I'm also a certified life coach. I don't know if you know that. And so I'm, I'm constantly trying to help people in their life and letting them, you know, got to release sometimes. You can't hold that stuff in all the time. And I love that you did your breakdown. It didn't bother me at all. I was like, good, let him break down. It's showing that he's a real person with a real heart who's brokenhearted right now. So how did, number one, how did people receive that on, on social media? So having that breakdown, um, I literally, it kind of gave me, I felt that gave me a second chance too, you know, mm-hmm. it was such a release. I feel like people need to talk about um, their feelings and being vulnerable and showing vulnerability. It's not a weakness, it's a strength. And that's a pure example of it. It helped me finish the show. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a lot of mixed replies. I got some I really wondering. horrible messages, Aww. some awful messages. Um, and for me, I find it hard to keep my mouth shut. Uh, so I really wanted to reply to mm-hmm. these people, um, but I didn't. I just sent back a, a laughing emoji. You did. <laughs> Good for you. Um, so that was really that was like character building for me. Um, so that was a big learning curve. But I also, it also um, I got a lot of incredible messages, um, really supportive messages, and it really hit a lot of people um, because, like you said earlier, that doesn't normally happen. Mm-hmm. Um, just being real, and it is being real, and it's being who I am. I'm, I'm an emotional guy, and I wear my heart on my sleeve, and, and uh, it was a really tough time for me. You know, I actually enjoyed watching that because I feel like men hold so much in and the fact that you were like, you just let it all out, you know, I, I, that's, that's like, for me, I, I, you know, I was married to, to somebody that never did anything like that. And I don't think men understand, like women need to see a little bit of that. They yeah. need to know that you even have emotions. I think some, you know? some women actually, even now they do actually see it as a weakness. There's still some people they want that bad, dangerous kind of guy. You can be both. I am both. Heck yeah. Um, look, I just, I feel like especially after covid like the suicide rate is up now mental mm-hmm. health need people need to be advocates for it and people need to Absolutely. raise awareness for it because it is still such a a sticky topic that needs to be it needs help people need help and um we all need to raise awareness you know um a campaign 
against living miserably. That's basically mm. what it is. So we, we need wow. to be there for each other and help each yeah, other. Yeah, I agree with that. So let's go to that mental health because I know when something like that happens and your heart is broken and you're devastated. When I went through my divorce, I had a transformation in my life because I was rock bottom, right? I felt like that was a rock bottom moment for you. Is, could you agree well, with yeah, that? It made me stronger and it did kind of make me a different person um, a little bit. But the fact that, again, Sandy was supporting me and had my back, it kind of sent me in a really good direction. Mm -hmm. But when I finished the show, I just, I vanished for a month. I went to Mexico, so I went to Salita, and I just surfed left-handers for a month. Uh, I went with a couple of close friends. But even then, I was different. I couldn't, I couldn't be the same with my friends. So it did, it did actually hurt me quite a lot. I was just confused, you know? And I was also worried that I was gonna be played out to look like a psycho which are all, some parts I've seen. They did a pretty good job at that. Yeah, some parts <laughs> were, but I mean, that wasn't the case. I just, I, you know, I fell for someone that apparently fell for me and that wasn't the case. And then pretended she didn't. And then, and then she just, got back with her ex-boyfriend who just, cheated on her. And, cheated and what stole the heck? her little dogs and, oh, oh yeah, it was, oh. it was nuts. Yeah. I know, she just told so many lies, she ended up believing him. She still believes him now. She, she's still with him. She still believes him now. I don't know what she's doing now. Yeah, so if she called you, it's been a couple years now, right? Yeah, it's been, yeah, almost two years. So yeah. if she called you right now and said, Dave, I'm so sorry, I was wrong. I did really like you, my boyfriend's a jerk. Do you want to get back together? No way. No way. No, no way. It's not. I don't even know what was going on with me. I had quite a long relationship. The only long relationship I had is like it was seven years, and she was an awesome girl. Um, so I kind of I went on the boat and I got comfort from, from Natasha, and I kind of brainwashed myself. I was like, mm. yeah, this is what I really want. You know, we're in the same industry, blah blah. blah. That's what happened. It's a right. full mind mind thing, right? Your mind's super powerful. But no, it's not even it's not even my no. type. No, 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 no she's no not way. your type. No. Oh. No, it's in like I. I kind of, it was just convenient. It was just convenient. Got it. Okay, let's 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 come off of Natasha and let's talk about you because you are an incredible chef. I mean, yeah. I enjoyed you so much when I was watching the season. Markles is another one of my favorite that I know. He's your buddy. You guys Marcus have done some is stuff together. Such a yeah. legend and so, again, inspiring man. He's been through a lot and um, he touched a lot of people's hearts with his mm -hmm. story too. And he's a, just just a great great guy and super humble. Yeah. I was glad when I saw the Instagram come through of his restaurant that you were going to be doing a thing with him because yeah. I thought they are the two top guys in my opinion and I watched I've watched pretty much all of the Below Deck series and I feel like you and Marcos were like the top two. I think what you got to look at as well on a sailing yacht as well for him to do the food he was doing on a sailing Hello? yacht which is is gnarly right yeah. and he's got a small kitchen and home had the worst kitchen oh. it was so bad. Wow. It was so small. Yeah. It was really, yeah. really tough. Like, I turned up with a big backpack with my sous vide machine, my Thermo mix, a yes. blender. If I didn't bring all that stuff, <laughs> you would have been in trouble. I would have been in trouble. One of the goals that you have, which when I read this, I was like, that is so cool. And when you reach this goal, please invite me. I will be there. Your goal is to summit south side of Mount Everest and get the world record for the highest ever dinner party. That's right. Is that, are you close to that goal? We're close to it, and Nat, we reached out to Nat Geo, um, a production company, we produced a deck, um, because it was getting really expensive. Mm -hmm. um, we got so, ex became so expensive. And then we, a guy called Nimsdai, who did 14 Peaks, reached out to his company, and now we're, on board with the, we're all on board with it, so I'm super excited, Amazing. but obviously it got expensive. Yeah. So Nat Geo, I thought they were gonna buy the script, um, I thought they were going to, have to do the funding for us. Mm -hmm. So it's taken a few, we've hit a few like obstacles. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm still going, it's still the plan. The world record might be pushed to next year. Okay. So we will be cooking, it's still not over yet, but it might be pushed to next year. I'm 100% doing it. Eight, eight person wow. dinner, 8,000 meters, tablecloth, glasses, wine, free courses. Yeah. And everything you bring up, you have to bring back down. Right, that's a whole thing. Okay, so who gets the invite to something like that? So I, the idea for me, because the Sherpas obviously do so much for, for us all the time, and they're the, the hidden heroes, right? They're the heroes of, of the mountain. So my idea was to cook for them, to give something back to the gods. Wow, can I be that's your sous chef? If you can get up there. <laughs> I will climb up, I don't care what, I'll get somebody to helicopter me up there or something. I'll get up there, don't you worry. So, um, all right, so I need to do a quick little commercial break for my incredible sponsors, Fast Fix in Valencia. I'm wearing one of their beautiful rings. And if we can do a, a, a full shot, Andy, 
We have all their jewelry right here. There's some beautiful stuff here. Do you have a woman in your life? You don't have a woman in your life. But when you're ready, let me know. Because here's the cool thing is that you get 26% off. Not 25, 26, because that's her favorite number. So if you go into the store, Fast Fix in Valencia, and you tell them Sally sent me, you get 26% off anything in the store except for their 65% off, which this ring is 65% off at their store. It's beautiful, isn't that beautiful? It's very beautiful. Ooh, so I get to wear it. So every week I'm gonna be showing you guys some incredible jewelry. So thank you Fast Fix in Valencia. Oh, I love you guys. Okay, back to you. So we're gonna do a quick speed round because some people sent us some questions and so these are gonna be fast. It's like yes or no or like a quick answer. Okay, you ready? Yeah. There's a lot. Okay, did you regret, and I asked you this earlier, drunk texting Natasha? 100%. Okay. Yes. Did you regret calling Natasha a slut? Of course I did. Yes. <laughs> How big is the freezer in the yacht? Is there an extra freezer on another boat next door? <laughs> no, the, the freezer space on my yacht home was so bad. And the fridge space. It was awful. I, I don't even understand that. Like, how do you put everything in there? Okay, what kind of sound do they do to make you guys sound so clear? What's the sound they use? Uh, it's like a box that's in, uh, and they put the put it into a condom, actually, to protect it. <laughs> yeah, they put it into a condom, the, wow. the battery box. So obviously the guy's on deck, if it gets wet or starts raining, or in a galley, if the stabilizer's going, a right. boiling so pot So nothing on you. And then, um, and then the mic. And then the mic on you. Yeah. So it's similar to the ones we have on right now. Yeah. Okay. That's, that was for Andy. Producer Andy wanted to know that. Um, how have the Below Deck fans treated you? Honestly, like 99.9% .9 of really positive comments. I'm and so glad. Everyone I met at Bravo Con were incredible. Every time I met someone, they're so incredibly nice. Like I did a pop-up in Boston last week. They're just, the fans are so, they so love you. incredible. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. I they're was awesome. hoping that's what it was gonna be. Um, what's your dating life like? Um, I have actually, I've been seeing someone for a, little, a, a while now. Is her name Natasha? No. <laughs> Are you like, if your name's Natasha, forget about it. <laughs> she slid into your DMs. I love that. It's slime. You go, DMs. girl. <laughs> Whatever your name is. Um, did you regret being emotional on the boat? No. No, it's, uh, it's something that more men uh, need to accomplish. I agree. Uh, what is Captain Sandy like? We talked a little bit about that. Uh, I'm... Captain Sandy, I, I love her so much. Yeah. Um, I wish we could spend more to hang out. We hang out as much as we can. She is supportive. Um, she is inspiring. She, she's, she's great. She's just... Yeah. Speed round. Remember, speed round. Sorry. How many BTS crew are on the, the yacht? Because we don't see the behind the scenes. How many people are behind the scenes? A lot. Um, I, I'm just going to chuck a number out. I think it's about, there's about 50 film crew. They 50? Tag, they tag in, tag out. So it's 25 at a time. They literally wow. Because it's a 24-hour like filming, right? So, so how many cameras? So there's pretty much, there's, uh, there's cameras all over the yacht. Um, and then they'll have the, a sound person and a, a live camera person. For each camera. Um, like one would be in the crew mess, one would be around the galley area. And then there'll be people on the bridge deck, on the aft. Like, there's, it's a yeah. huge operation. Wow. Huge operation. I love when, when stuff goes wrong and Sandy's like, get the engineer. And then it's all, all of a sudden you see like, oh, who's that guy? <laughs> and, and by the way, I know it's fast round, but all the producers, like, uh, the guys on the, they're, they're awesome. They were so, they were so supportive towards me too. The producers. Like Nadina. Yeah, like Nadina, exec producer. She's a hero. Like, um, Shout out they're to all, the producers. Yeah, they're all really, really cool. Yeah. Most uh, memorable meal that someone requested. Um, someone asked for a uh, apple pudding from McDonald's. Apple pudding? Yeah. Like a pie? Apple like pie? Like apple pie, yeah. Did you have to... I had to go and get some. You had to go and get some. Train pastry chef. Oh, God. I think I remember that episode. Yeah, honestly, was it I an was Asian lady? I think it might, I think it might I, be. I remember her. I was like, are you out of your freaking mind? Like, this guy is number one. Okay, I, I, I was very annoyed at that lady, by the way, because she was, a, there was a few things. There was another <laughs> lady that kept requesting, like, turkey sandwiches. I don't know if she was on your, I don't think she was on your season. Okay, what was the most memorable complaint? Uh, memorable, I guess the pancakes, right? The pancakes. See, the, hard, the hardest thing about the pancakes, <laughs> when, we, when we spoke to each other, I'm obviously British, right? Yeah. And obviously I can make pancakes. Um, and then when they said they were raw, there was white chocolate in there, so it wasn't raw, it was white chocolate. Um, and basically, I would, uh, my initial thought would be to make a crepe, right? If he, right, if of he course, because French. If, and if he right. says a light and not too fluffy. That's, that's a crepe. It's a crepe, right? 
So I, I was, but again, look, I, I did fail. I didn't. It was my it's my job to get yeah. his needs right. And we've had banter about it. We're right. talking about starting a pancake company <laughs> up and trying to get into Whole Foods, like That's me, funny. me and um, and Dominique. So we were chatting and we were we yeah. were bantering. It's, but it's all funny. That is funny. And yeah. you used to have two. Speaking of crepes, you had two seasonal French restaurants in France, yeah, in which south, is so fancy and cool. Southwest of France, and um, I did a brunch place, which that doesn't happen in France. So I took on the challenge. Me and my best mate Gav, shout out to him, he's a legend. Um, and we were doing so well. We're doing such unique, sustainable, local produce, like making a, a breakfast burger out of Magret de Canard. You know, mincing it ourselves, making the brioche buns wow. with local like chanterelle and fig jam. Like, it was good food. We did like sounds a, amazing. A bao Benedict, like a twist on an eggs Benedict Ooh. with fresh bao buns. Again, the the mushrooms from the forest in the southwest of France are insane. So we use a lot of mushrooms. I love that. I, by the way, I went. I've been to Paris. I love it, and I'm getting ready to go to Paris again in June with my daughters so I'm super excited do you guys all still hang out do you support each other from the season I like well we know who you're not hanging out with but yeah obviously (laughs) her and uh and Jason I don't see um but I spent a lot of time with Natalia because I felt like I didn't get to know Natalia because of I was so obsessed with Natasha right Mm -hmm. but Natalia I spent a lot of time with she's in Miami and Mm -hmm. she's awesome by the way I love Natalia yeah Uh, and I chat and Z Courtney Storm, you know, I talk to I talk to all of them. Speak to Reed a little bit. That's um, great. Uh, yeah, so they're all, they're all really, really incredible people. Yeah, and I have just a couple more questions, and then you're going to teach me how to do knife skills. There we go. Because I'm not good at all, and my knives that I brought are a joke. Like, don't even look at them because well, they're so I bad. Did bring my, uh... <laughs> I'm so glad you brought your own. But listen, my, my couple questions is, number one, would you do it again? Yes, in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. What yeah. if Lee asked you? Yep. You would? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I would do it. And um, I, there's lots of reasons why certain, I didn't, people don't get invited. I didn't get invited back to the next one. Really? I think I think it actually happens. And it even happened to Chef Ben. I think he did one and then he didn't do one. Mm. So you never know. They might invite me back. But I, uh, They'd I, be I, crazy not to. I would like to do it because I want to do it without all that drama attached. I feel like I can do my food at so much higher too. And yeah. that's all I want to do. And I'm, I'm, I'm fun. I yeah, just had you a, are fun. I was just, I didn't get to showcase that, you know. I was, right. I, it kind of took over my whole. But we're going to dance mind. at the end and you can show your fun. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, I want, thank you for all of that. So I, before, we, um, before we end, I do want to learn, because I, I, I did a cooking show. Don't make fun of me and don't oh, even go see it. But it's on Facebook. If you you guys, if you want to see my cooking show, it's Cooking with Cool Mom Sally on Facebook. There's eight episodes there. I did it in my kitchen during COVID because I was bored and my kids do the B-roll and it's hilarious. But I cooked Puerto Rican food. I cooked homemade ice cream. Like I love to cook. So, but I had a snooty chef DM me. I'm not going to say her name. And she's like, do you want me to teach you um, knife skills? Cause it doesn't seem like you know what you're doing. And oh, I was like, wow. you know what? So, I, so listen, it all comes around. So here you are, my chef friend now, that's gonna teach me how to do it so that way she can zip it. So we can pull actually this table closer. I got a sharp knife out here. And pull this closer in, right? And we don't, and so we're gonna do this. So these are the knives that I brought. Look at, so, they're so dull. They're like so bad. I'm just gonna put them on the side here. So I've got, so I'm, and then, by the way, I brought gum because I heard that when you chew gum and you cut onions, you don't cry. So we're gonna chew a little gum. So we're gonna chew a little gum to see if it works. The reason that it's uh, onions, it's the milk of the onion, so it's always gonna make you cry regardless. But the sharper your knife, the less you'll cry. That's basically it. So the oh. blunter the knife, the more you'll cry. Okay. But well, we're gonna I'll try chew, the gum. I'll chew the gum anyway. So. We're gonna try the gum. All right. Here we go. So we got onions. I just bought what he asked me to buy: zucchini. And then they didn't, oh no, this is cucumber. They didn't have zucchini, so I got this. I don't even know what that is, but That's it's- just a yellow zucchini. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then well, are these button mushrooms-ish? Yeah, button mushroom Okay, perfect. All right, cool. So here we go. All right, I'm gonna move this out of the way. All right. So just then, tell me what to do. I'm gonna move my knives out of the way. So the most important thing about chopping mm-hmm. is your middle finger. Oh, okay. Love Believe it. Believe it or not. So that's like the master, the captain. That's Captain Sandy. Captain right Sandy is the middle finger. Is the middle. Got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, then, Sandy. So different techniques how to do it. Okay, let's see. Well, I, I like to hold the knife here, so I've I'm got a hold really my knife like you're holding yours. Okay. Like a firm grip on the knife, firm and grip. you can know it's not going to go anywhere. Okay. So I like to do it. That depends on the the heel of the blade. 
That's okay. where you, okay, that's where the... So the, lot, the bigger the hill, the more, okay. the better reaction you do if you start to roll the blade. Okay, got it. So that's the beginning technique. Okay. Obviously then when you get more experience, you can look away, you can chop, you can do whatever, however you want to do. Okay. So make it a size that you can easily work with. So the top and tail, but... Get here, that out of the way. That's, okay. that's you. All right, here we go. I'm going to move the onions. We're so chewing top, gum because of the onions, just so, so you guys... So top and okay. tail. So what is top and so tail? Take the bottom. Oh, cut the tail. Chop, okay. chop the bottom off. See how you just slam it down there? Oh. So you just want to, you want to kind of roll. Roll, got it. All right. Okay, all right, here we go. So now I've got my, here's my middle finger here. Let's see, middle finger and then, oh. my, then my thumb. So this is what okay, we do. Go. The reason you have your middle finger is, and you chop down. Mm -hmm. So that's how you can get everything exactly the same size. And the only, you see, there you mm -hmm. go, that's better. Oh, but it has so to be, the, oh, sorry. Because basically when you've got this, you chuck your knuckle forwards. So the only okay. time you're gonna cut yourself in this situation is you don't move your thumb out of the way. Oh, okay. Or you go above the go knuckle. Above. Got it. Which you're not gonna do. Not gonna That's do that. Silly. That would Why be would bad. You do that? Okay. Because... <laughs> okay. So then once we're using okay. the finger, we can then you don't you basically it's all to do with the thumb. Oh. So you... <laughs> My knife is so dull. So see see your finger, so you've got to have that. Keep have oh, it. keep it close. Yeah, so keep, oh, got keep it. that one back and keep this middle finger. Did some close. front. Exactly, and your thumb's oh. at the back. So put oh, your thumb on the wow. Back. Right now, okay. just, just roll, tip down, that's it. And then just keep that, that's it, pinch back like that. And that way you can get them all good. Okay, side. but you did it really fast. <laughs> I've been doing it for a long time. I'm actually, my knife's a bit blunter than I It is, it's not as bad as mine. Mine is awful. Okay. Well, that's the reason why you can kind of look away because everything's oh, down to this. Oh, wow. It's not going to go anywhere unless I move this finger, right? Yeah. So I can just look at you and it will all be exactly the same that's size. Amazing. So and your fingers exactly are all still there. All still no there. blood. I love it. <laughs> okay, I love that. And now the onion, I get annoyed by the onion because of this. Why do they have so much? You have to pull all this off and blah, blah, blah. What's the easy way to do yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, onion is beautiful. It's got so many layers. Okay. It's almost like a milfoy. So it depends what you're doing. Like, again, we got to chew gum so we don't cry. That's, see, that's what they say. The easiest way to do it, again, just top and tail. And then this is the core. The key to an onion is you want to keep the core in there. All right? Oh. As soon as you remove okay. the core, yeah. the onion will start to fall apart. That knife oh, is bad. Isn't it's it? so bad. I mean, mine wasn't it's, great. But it's so bad. Should I use yours? Do you, you have go. another this one? That, and then, or that, should I use that one? Try this one. Okay, I'll try that one. It's not, I should have brought mine still. That's all right. Good. Let's see. So, finger and then thumb. So, there. just chop that end off, and then we're going to peel it afterwards. Okay, now top the other end off. Let's just use it, and that's it. Chop that one. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so, right, now, Maybe she was right. <laughs> flip it over. So okay. you see you've taken the core out. Oh, I took the core out. So that's what we don't want to do. Oh, so you cut shoot. Big okay. So okay. you see, see my one here. I've got the core yes. in. Okay. All right, Four so now in. I'm going to cut it in half. Okay. Leaving the core in. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to peel each half. Let's get rid of that. Okay, all right, get rid of that. Now just take, oh, take just, the outskin yeah, out. See, what's the easy way to do that? Oh, it just comes straight okay. Out. Oh, I gotta chew gum because my eyes are starting to burn. Chew your gum, chew your gum. Right, so now right. so now we got the core. We got the core. We okay. leave the core in. So if you want to do a fine dice, for example. And the core is this part right here, right? So exactly, so we want to keep the, the core, core in here. And that's going to keep the onion apart. So if we want to do like a fine, like a petty bream or a fine dice, we go top away from that core, <laughs> like that. Yeah. So you see why I've kept the core yes. in here? Yes. Right. Oh. And then we go straight through the straight middle here. Through. Okay, got it. And now we've got. Then it's just easy. A fine dice. Ooh, and the onion will fall apart. Chew see? gum, chew gum. That gum thing's not working, There you guys. go. And that's a fact. <laughs> the gum doesn't work, a, does it? A petty bruma. What? What is it called? It's called a petty bruma. Petty bruma. Petit brunoir. Petit brunoir. Obviously, everything came from French cooking, right? So yes. And then, what the about towns. the little mushrooms? And the mushrooms are the fun. They're the fun ones. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Where do you get good knives? See, I'm a, I'm a bit of a classic guy, so I like Wusthof, German steel. Oh, Can't really okay. beat it. Okay. A lot of chefs like the fancy looking ones, but they're so hard to sharpen. Yeah, I agree. Um, okay. So I like to just keep with stuff. Um, but then, a uh, global good. Um, global probably the. The most popular knife. Yeah. I think it's a nice looking... You're crying. I'm crying, see? So, so the gum's not working. See, but we all know, Dang it. We all know right, I cry I'm getting rid of the so. gum. You want to get rid of the gum? No more gum. Oh, onion. Let's throw it on there. Onion hands. <laughs> the gum doesn't work. Whoever taught me that, it don't work. <laughs> So, all right. uh, mushroom, button mushrooms. It's all again about the thumb and the finger. Okay. So these are the fun ones. You can just keep doing these all day because it's such a soft day. 
pretty good, <laughs> right? Two mushrooms and a fun one. Oh shit! Got, so I'm you've got a coal over the back thumb. You've got to use that middle nut. So as long as I don't move it, it goes nowhere, right? I'm really good see <laughs> mushrooms look at my mushrooms look are good. great <laughs> mushrooms you know what next time i go on a date and i'm cooking for someone i'm gonna go watch me cut these mushrooms <laughs> and it's gonna be really it's fun it's not mushroom and it's chopping board <laughs> i got loads of terrible food jokes. that's fun all right what else do we have and then did we get everything cool jet's kind of the same as the cucumber all right so, so we're good it. okay so that so listen I'm gonna get better at this, I'm gonna get better nice, but I appreciate you teaching me that because I've always wanted to learn how to do it fast and it, it's always to me, it's like, how do they do that so fast? So you got it, so you got this and then you got the thumb it's in the back. Stay, it's got to stay, stay close to the, the middle nickel. finger. Okay, it's all, all right, about perfect. the middle finger. All right, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we, so let me see if I have any more questions for you, but I, I've really enjoyed, I'm glad you reached, I reached out to you first, you reached back out to me when you came back into town and here you are on my couch and I'm, so excited for whatever's to come. I feel like I'm gonna see you on TV again. I don't think that was the last time. I hope not. Yeah, hopefully it's gonna be on Captain Sandy because I know how much she loved you because she even said like you're one of my favorite chefs. So I appreciate you guys for joining. I appreciate Dave for coming. I wanna say one more thank you, if we can go to full shot, to my sponsor, Fast Fix in Valencia. Here's all the beautiful jewelry. Let me just show you. This is, listen, if you wanna buy this for your girlfriend, it's about $12,000 but you get 26% off if you say Sally sent me. All right. That okay, is, so look at nice. that, how beautiful that is. Wow. Look at that. That's Isn't pricey. that gorgeous? All diamonds. It is beautiful. And good quality diamonds, by oh, the yeah. way. And so there's so much beautiful stuff there. Also, just so you guys know, they do custom jewelry. Um, they do anything. You could bring a picture and they have these two little jeweler elves that will make you anything. If you're about to get married and you need a beautiful ring, let me know. Call me. <laughs> I know some people. Look at that beautiful ring. Are there any good? men's rings? They have men's rings as well. No, they I have love everything. A, I love a ring, so. Okay, so you come see me and we'll we'll hook you up. 26% off if you say my name. All right, so I just want to thank you so much for being with us. Second season, first show down. I was so freaked out because there was so much to do. The music, thank you, Angelo, for our new music. Thank you, everyone, for being here. I hope I don't mi I didn't miss anything. Thank you, Andy, Natasha, our team behind the scenes, my friend Julie, who helped me get this all together. And I appreciate you. Make sure you guys subscribe to Sally Cologne, the number one on YouTube. Shows will be up every Wednesday. Sally Cologne, the number one on Instagram. I love you guys all for being here. I love you, Instagram, and everybody that's live. And thank you, Dave. Thank you so for much, Lovely We're too. just going to dance it out. Oh,